Hi there, I'm Nina Tim and once again welcome to my kitchen. It is summertime and what better to spend it with your family around a braai and around a good piece of meat. The secret however to a good piece of meat is a sauce and I'm sure you have your favourite that you buy from the shop but why don't you try your own? I'll show you a zingy jazzy pineapple salsa that works beautifully on chicken and pork and even fish. And it's as simple as throwing together a few delicious ingredients in one pot. So if you're ready, let's cook together. For the salsa, you literally put everything together in a pot and the pot does the work for you. How easy is that? First of all, pineapple. You have the option of using fresh or tinned pineapple. The only difference is really that when you use tinned pineapple that's got sauce already, reduce your water with 125 milliliters. But other than that, there's no difference. So in with the pineapple, in with the garlic, in with some chilies, um, some chopped ginger, some tomato ketchup, some smoked paprika for that lovely smoky barbecue flavor, some salt, and of course, then your water. The pot does the work for you, so once you've stirred it through, you just leave it on the stove. The sauce is now cooked for 10 minutes. It is ready for the blender, but I can tell you this is gonna turn your chicken into something different. Make sure you get every little scrape of goodness in there. Put the lid back on. It's always important to put the lid back on. Right, once your sauce is now pureed and smooth consistency, you pour it back into the pot where you will cook it for about three minutes until it's reduced nicely. Once your sauce is cooked, you can put it in a glass jar and it will keep in your fridge for about two weeks or longer. But I am ready with my chicken that I've cooked halfway and I'm going to baste my chicken with that delicious pineapple salsa. Of course you can put this chicken on the outside grill, you can put it in the oven, griddle pan, it all works beautifully and throughout the cooking process you will baste the chicken once or even twice more. These chicken drumsticks are now basted. They can go into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius because this is a weeknight supper and there's no time to make a fire. Right, 20 minutes from now we can plate up, roasted cook, a nice coleslaw, sticky drumsticks. Your family will love it. And there you go. Definitely a sauce to put the sizzle back into your summer. I'm off to the patio. See you later.